Hello everyone, welcome. This is a special video. I'm going to be doing a little review on this uh, tool, overlapping tool, which Adrian was so uh, kind to uh, let me know about. And he would ask me if I could just test it out a bit. So let's test it out. So the tool is called Puppeteer. And I've got a rough animation of uh, just the intimidate, just uh, doing a walk cycle. So if we look here, side to side, rotation. And I just wanted to get that movement going. I haven't done the run. I haven't done the walk, sorry. Just uh, just got a movement side to side going. Just to show you how this tool works. Now, this is still in development, but we're going to check it out. You know, Adrian's still refining it. But basically what you do, you select, for example, imagine this has been a tail or something. This is the new rig by uh, Lupin House, by the way. I'm going to be doing a review on this as well. But uh, what you do is you select all the controls, going back to the review, sorry. Uh, yeah, and you just press create. And what it does, it creates uh, automatic overlap. Like if you look at that, now that's not that's not bad at all. You know, for if you if you just uh, quickly want to put something together and show your lead or animation director or something, you, you know, by adding some quick overlap, it saves a lot of time, doesn't it? It really does. So what you can have, what you have here now is you have all these parameters. So you've got your drag, and you've got your overshoot stretch then you've got the physics here blend twisting stretch gravity you can play around with that the wind direction strength so you can do all these nice things here and one thing you can really do is like for example i can bring the drag down to zero and you can see straight away it's just stiff right if i bring it all the way up all right it's too much but then i can bring it down a bit and you can see it starting to just have that little bit of drag and then the other thing is each option has these fall offs so if you check on the fall offs, it's just like the um, graph editor right so you can select this linear and you can see how linear is it's going back you can do it the other way you can do the ease in like this you know you see these nice little trails happening there in the back obviously you can bake it and then cycle it and match you know and the cycle might not be matching at the moment but you can always change that when you start baking the animations but yeah it's just a it's a cool tool to just if you want to just get something on there you know without animating all of those uh controls just to quickly show uh the effect that the body has on the tail or something as you can see there you know it's it's working pretty nicely at the end you can cycle again you can bake that and cycle it and clean it up and you've got all these fall offs and then you can either come in here and move the points down to i mean they're all preset so you don't have to do that. And then you've got overshoots. So you can bring this down and bring up maximum, have a look how it is, you know, and you can play around with that. You can play around with those fall offs as well. There, you can see there's a bit of an up and down there happening. Got the character going up and down. But you can play around with all of these uh, parameters here, which I think is really cool, you know. Uh, the tool is still being refined. Um, but uh, from what I'm seeing now, testing it, it's really good. It's really, it's really effective. For just the press of a button, you know, just to get an effect like that, you know, it's brilliant. And then obviously, you know, like with all animations, we have to polish them, right? So you can go in and always polish that. And uh, when you're done with it, you can just bake. So there's an option here to bake. So you can press bake here. And uh, you can see all the keys, everything's baked there. So yeah, it's a, it's a really cool tool. I really like this, uh, especially when you just want to get something done, get it done. You know, you don't have to worry about animating it. You've done all the body animation, body mechanics, and you can just smack this on and then show it to someone and say, ah, this is how it looks, you know, with the, with the overlap and everything. But uh, yeah, I, I like it. I like the idea. I like the way it's, uh, you know, the interface is really clear as well, you know. You, with the fall offs, everything's all in one place. You know, it's not that hard to really see what each thing does. Excuse me. You pretty much see it here. You know, everything's there. If you're an animator, you know all these interpolations. So, yeah. So, Adrian, and yeah, just keep refining. It's good. It's a very good tool. Uh, I think it saves a lot of time. Definitely. Everyone knows about overlapping, you know, with all the joints and controls and tails and hair and whatnot. So, yeah, it really helps. You know, you can, again, bake in the animations. You can always delete the end keys and kind of uh, smooth it out to get a nice cycle. 
So check, so check it out. I don't know. I'm not sure if it's available yet, but uh, we'll keep you posted on that. But overall, very good tool, very simple, easy to use, uh, straightforward. And right off the bat, when you select the controls and create, it already creates a decent movement, you know, like, and then you can just go on from that. All right, guys, I hope this review, review helped. Uh, yeah, if you want to sign up to any uh, up-to-date uh, news on the animation film and game industry, I have a newsletter every week. You can sign up to that on the link in the description below. And of course, if you're ready to really animate and master the fundamentals and advanced techniques of animation, check out the webinar in the description. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay healthy, be dedicated, persistent, and consistency, and you will see results. See you later.